Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a first impressions video on a new palette from Shop Alter Ego. Now I have received this palette in PR and I have received palettes from them in the past and I have filmed a few videos with those palettes that I have received so I do have a Shop Alter Ego playlist on my channel that you guys can check out but just so you guys know for the sake of this video and trying to keep in with all the new guidelines this palette was sent to me it was gifted to me but this video is not sponsored I do have a code with Shop Alter Ego but it is not an affiliate code I don't make any money from you guys using it it's just Karen 10 and it gives you 10% off the palettes or like their website so don't feel any pressure to use my code there's plenty of other codes out there but I just want to put it out there for anyone that is watching this video that might want to pick this palette up so I was very excited to have this sent to me shop alter ego is a brand that typically does dupe palettes and for the longest time I did have kind of conflicting ideas about dupe palettes and whether I thought they were good or bad or whatever and I honestly kind of decided that I was gonna take my opinion out of it I decided that for my audience this kind of product made sense because not everyone wants to go out and spend their hard-earned money on a high-end makeup palette and I can totally understand that I can relate with that feeling so I think these are you know informative videos even though I'm not quite sure how I feel about it I don't think it's a bad option for you guys so that's why I want to do these kinds of videos and keep you guys kind of educated on what's out there for you if you don't want to buy a high-end palette the other thing too is after watching broken is that what it's called that documentary that Marlena was in on Netflix like truly terrifying counterfeit makeup sounds really scary <laughs> so you know I get it like people want to buy the hot new product out there I never ever ever thought that people would be considering a counterfeit option if they couldn't find the real thing or if the real thing was sold out that they would go for a counterfeit or that people are getting tricked into buying counterfeit products like all of that is very terrifying so I'd rather you have a dupe palette and not have you like glue your lips together or have your eyes fall out now I'm not a chemist I'm not like a makeup producer so I don't know um, but I felt safe enough to put these on my eyes so those are all my disclaimers so it does say back here shop alter ego is their instagram handle distributed by alter ego this is a company from los angeles and this product has a net weight of 15 grams or 0.53 ounces cruelty free product and it is made in the people's republic of china it has a 12 month shelf life and it does a cruelty free logo on there it doesn't look like the pita bunny but i don't really know to be honest so here is the outer packaging I love this honestly this packaging reminds me of the Chinese New Year because I know like red is a lucky color I believe in Chinese culture so it just looks really stunning also for like the holidays and it's exactly like their other packaging so this is the Sahara this was the one that came out I think in October September October how gorgeous and then it also matches the goddess palette so I kind of love how they are sticking to that theme I mean it just makes it very pleasant to look at so I did film this look but first I want to give you guys swatches so let's go ahead and do that I don't really want to compare this palette to the palette that it's supposed to be duping because based on my experiences with this brand in the past I feel like this palette can hold its own so I just don't really feel the need to compare it to the other one and if you guys wanted the one that it's a dupe of you would already own it and this video is most likely going to be irrelevant for you because you're already happy with the one you have now there's no reason to buy both i definitely would not encourage you to do that i think if you don't want to spend the money on the original then you might want to look at this but other than that if you have the first one and you're happy with it do not spend your money on buying duplicates of things that's a little bit ridiculous i already have the original so obviously different story so the first shade is radiance then we have stellar spark sunburst and dawn i must say that <laughs> the mattes are pretty weak in this palette i haven't used all the mattes but just from the eye look i created i felt like i was having a hard time and actually even the shimmers aren't 
as good. Like the Goddess palette, I swear the shimmers are like up to par with the palette it's duping. But these ones, I used this shade Dawn on my lid and it was a struggle. And then I just covered it up, honestly, with some glitter from ColourPop because I still wanted to like kind of create the look I had envisioned. So I was really disappointed by that. But just check out the swatches here of the next Rive Shine. I have Luminaire, Ray, Nova, and Cosmic. And, you know, the shade Sunburst I was hoping would really pack a punch, but in the end it really didn't. So I just want to give you guys my opinions. You know, you guys can decide what you want to do with your money. But since I had the opportunity to try the palette, I really, really, really wanted to be honest with you guys. So here is the last row. Also, do keep in mind this is like my first time using it. So it is possible that, you know... I need to do more work and try it out um, but that's why I'm calling this a first impression and not a review so I mean like look at that matte swatch I feel like that's so weak it's not what I'm expecting from Alter Ego I usually expect better from them so we have star we have brilliance flare soul and twilight is that last shade so here are all the colors I'm just curious to see if I swatch a matte from, like, look at how pigmented that is from the Goddess palette, if it'll swatch better. Maybe I'm just, I mean, I don't know. I felt like these mattes were better, but now I'm questioning everything. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, so those are the swatches, and let's get into how I created this look. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to play with this palette. It is Friday night, and believe me when I tell you, all I want to do is continue to watch Game of Thrones, enjoy spending time with my dogs, but I had a vision. I just want to do like a berry, it's basically a sunset look. I keep picturing like the yellow in my inner corner, and then this like shade called Nova just like blended into my crease. So. I have ideas. I don't know if it's going to turn out like I planned, but I have a plan. So instead of sitting on the couch watching Game of Thrones like I should be doing on Friday, I decided I should film because it is Vlogmas here on my channel and uh, I've been filming like a beast. I'm very proud of myself. So I just got this palette in the mail. It is now available at Shop Alter Ego. And uh, they basically make dupes of palettes, but honestly, this is my fourth palette from them. And I don't even really care to compare them to the dupes or the, the palettes that they are dupes of. I've literally, I literally own all the palettes, the originals. And I just feel like that's not really necessary. If you're not going to buy the original palette, then... You might buy this one because you probably skipped the first one because of the price point. And I was talking to my husband about these palettes because I got the email that I was getting this when I was having dinner with him. And I'm like, oh, cool, they're sending me their new palette. And Rail's like, oh, okay, what kind of palette? And I was like trying to explain it to him. And he's like, so you have, I was like, yeah, I have the more expensive brand. And I'm like, but I also realized that it's not realistic to expect every human being on planet earth to pay the price of some of these palettes so I'm just gonna feature this Aurora palette on its own on my channel because I think it can stack up against any other palette without being compared to it even <laughs> though it's a dupe I mean if you guys really want to see like some kind of comparison I'm happy to do that but honestly I've had really good luck with these palettes so I'm perfectly fine just showcasing them on their own Anyway, so I'm just really wanting to blend this yellow shade into the inner corner and into the crease. Um, I always struggle with yellows. I know that if you're lighter than me, it's a little bit easier to get a yellow to show up. And I could probably do some kind of like voodoo magic with a, a white base, but that's not really how I do my makeup on a daily basis. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna do it the way I would do it any other day, and I'm just trying to pack it on as much as possible. 
and typically it shows up on camera even though I don't feel like it's bright enough. That's like a me problem and maybe I'll throw in some glitter, you know, amp it up <laughs> a little bit. So I'm gonna leave the yellow like that. There's a beautiful peachy shade called Star and I wanna tuck that in to the other half of my crease just to help blend the yellow shade a little bit better. And in case any of you guys are wondering, this is the Wayne Goss number 17. And it's a beautiful crease brush. Okay, now I'm gonna go into this shade called Flare. It's just like a beautiful orange color. I'm gonna pack that on where I laid down that first color called Star. Just slowly blending into the crease. And I just really wanted like a perfectly seamlessly blended look. I swear I just, oh, I could sit here all day and just blend shadow into my crease. I am a sucker for good blend. Okay, I wanna throw in a lid shade. So I think I'm gonna go into the shade Brilliance, which is like a beautiful muted gold shade. I don't really do a lot of brow bone shades, really, um, but I just got my brows done the other weekend and they're still like pretty well groomed. So I thought, why not pop a nice gold just to kind of, you know, catch the light a little bit and I'm just using a really thick shader brush from Wet n Wild so there's that now I'm gonna go back into flare and blend that I'm keeping it out of the inner corner because I want that yellow shade to pop still but I want to bring it up really high up into the brow bone to give it like an extra blended look okay and I'm gonna stay with the same brush and I'm loving the shade Nova. So I'm just gonna dip that. And then I'm just gonna start packing that on to the outer corner as well. Just wanting to give it some depth and it's like a beautiful berry red shade. I really like how that's turning out. And then I'm just gonna go into the shade Twilight, which is like the darkest shade, and just kind of pack that on in the outer corner. Okay, I kind of love that so much. I love that blend. I feel like the color looks really good on the camera. I'm just looking at myself in the mirror and, hmm, okay. Well, it looks how I want it to look on the screen, but when I look in my mirror, um, my simple human mirror, I'm like, is it looking splotchy? But it might just be me. It could just be me, because I really like how it looks in the camera. So now we need to figure out a lid color. And I've really been debating the shade Dawn. Just because it's like a beautiful purple, but also I love a good like metallic red. There's another metallic. Look at these colors. Super pretty. Little baby swatches. Um, I really envisioned it with the purple. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. I just want to see how pigmented it is without the without wetting the brush. It's definitely like a pretty duochromey purple. I think I need to wet the brush. A Sonia um, G brush. This is my favorite uh, builder pro. I'm so sad that I missed her. Um, what is it called? Sky set or something? There's like a beautiful blue handle brush set that she just came out with for the holidays 
It like launched while I was at work and I missed the launch. I think this look really ultimately needs glitter because that color is very light. I think actually, you know what, I lied. I'm gonna go in to the red shimmer shade and see if that kind of helps amp things up a little bit because I wanted it to pop more and the duochrome is kind of like just making it not pop as much if you know what I mean okay I definitely feel like I'm in need of glitter so I will be right back so even though we all bitch and moan about glitter being in our eyeshadow palette <laughs> I could not say no to this little set from ColourPop for their holiday this orange is speaking to me I think that's the shade. Oh, there's one here in the bottom too though. I just thought these would be fun for like something fun, you know? If I was doing an eye look and they're so tiny that I figured these would be perfect for me to play with. So I'm looking at the shade Avenue of Stars, which I just dropped. So I'm looking at the shade Avenue of Stars, which I just dropped and picked up and kinda wanna just see. Ooh, that's pretty. I use my finger. I kind of want to use brush. Oh, I know. I'll use this one. These are so fun. Oh, snip. Now, don't use glitter unless you know what you're doing. If you're a child, you shouldn't be watching my videos. Um, and just like don't hurt yourself. So I really wanted to use the sparkle on the inner corner just to kind of like, I don't know, give it like a cool effect. Okay, I need to stop before I hurt myself. You know what they say, check yourself before you wreck yourself. And I was just using this little Real Techniques brush. I think this is actually a lip brush, but it's kind of perfect for glitter because it's synthetic. So it doesn't goop up the bristles. I kind of love it. I'm gonna clean up the under eye and do my face makeup and I will be right back. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I didn't feel like doing my hair today. So instead I added a glossy lip to zhuzh things up a little bit. And my lip combo today are two pretty affordable lip products. I'm wearing the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip In Floor. I believe this is from the Becky G collab. And then this is the Lucid Lip In Fantasize from Kaleidos. Pair so well together. This shade, this gloss shade, just goes so well with some of the shades from the eyeshadow palette. So I hope you appreciate how this look turned out. I do want to point out while I have you guys zoomed in pretty close that I don't love how the mattes performed in this palette. Now I have used their Goddess palette which I thought worked really well but the mattes in this palette I don't know if it's because there's more reds and oranges and typically I believe reds are a little bit harder to make Plus this product is cruelty free, which means they don't use like the crushed beetles, I believe, that they use to make reds in palettes that aren't cruelty free. So I don't really know if that's what it was, but if you guys were to look in really close to my eyeshadow, like I'm gonna have a new camera soon and it's like 4K. Um, I'm a little bit terrified because you guys are gonna be really, really able to see how makeup performs and you're gonna have the product like, the image quality on that camera is gonna look like I'm sitting right in front of you. So I haven't learned how to use that camera yet, but I'm telling you, if you looked at my eyeshadow and you had a really keen sense of how mattes blend, you would know that this matte did not blend the way I wanted it to. It's patchy, um, it's very much like a pigment and um, there's formulas like that out there in the world that some people love like the Ace Beauté Paradise Collection. All the eyeshadows kind of did this on my eyes, which is why I decluttered that collection just because it's not me. It's not my favorite formula. I didn't notice the Goddess palette doing that, so 
I don't know what it could be. And then they sent me the Sahara palette and I haven't had a problem like that with this palette either. So I definitely need to use the Aura palette more um, before I can definitely tell you like, oh, it's just like a one-off thing. Like it could be the eyeshadow base, although I use my, you know, new favorite eyeshadow base, P. Louise. I've been using that all through the month of November and I haven't had any problems with it. But yeah, up close, I just feel like I didn't get the best blend, so. Just want to give you guys my honest opinion on the matte shadows. Okay, so usually I would insert like a close-up swatch situation, but I accidentally rubbed everything off and now I'm like lazy to film it, so I do apologize. <laughs> but I'm sure you guys can find swatches of this palette because I've seen so many YouTubers do swatch parties and like comparison swatches and things like that. So I think swatches should be pretty easy for you guys to find. Overall, guys, just keep in mind this is my first impression, so I don't know that this is like my final say on this palette, but like I mentioned when I had you guys zoomed in, I don't really like how this palette blended on my eyes at all. I mean, in the viewfinder, when I was filming this look, the eyeshadows look really vibrant and bright, but that could also be because I am sitting in front of some like studio lights, so I really like amplifies the look but when I look at myself like in the mirror here I just feel like it's so bad like the yellow is like gotten eaten up by the glitter oh like no no I just don't like it I don't like it but I'm not gonna like redo the look you know so I did do the best I could if you're a beginner I'd be pretty mm, unsure about recommending this to you because like I said I like my shadows to be able to blend. I'm not a fan of like the pressed pigment, push things into your eyeball formula. And I did use a very sticky base, so I would have assumed that the shadows would have still worked really well because I've tested this base with many different formulas and I still haven't come across one where it didn't do a good job. So I'm really conflicted right now, but that is my first impression. I'm just gonna keep it as, it's very okay if I had to give it a rating from like, 1 to 10, I would probably give it like a 4. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna try it maybe. I'm not sure. I have a lot of palettes to play with, so I don't know if I will have time to do another video. But if I have any updates, I will throw it in my December haul video when we go over everything I got in the month of December. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you were interested in this palette. If you picked this up, let me know if you have the original palette. If you like that palette, I know it's like widely popular because it was such a great price point for the brand that did the original. So anywho's, I will leave a link down in my description box if you guys do want to shop this palette. And like I said, I do have a discount code with the brand so you can save 10% off of your purchases on their website. And if you guys are looking for good gift ideas, I would recommend this one. Um, this one's a great palette as well for neutral lovers. And if you want to try this palette for shits and giggles, why not? You know what I mean? Um, anyways, that's everything. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas. Don't forget to enter the giveaway I have going on for Vlogmas. And I will catch you guys in my next video tomorrow. Bye, guys.